Hello guys, welcome back to the Python Basics tutorial. In the previous lessons, we've done all of our coding on Sublime Text, but in this lesson, I want you guys to be introduced to another IDE. So it's an integrated development environment wherein you can code and see the output right away in blocks of code, which is uh, which which is very interesting because the benefit is that you get to see the output and then debug it very easily. So debugging becomes really important at a later stage. So let's let's get introduced to Jupyter Notebooks there and then we'll cover a uh, for loop. Right. So this is what Jupyter Notebook looks like. Once you guys have installed it, you can open a new. Uh, so the, the extension for this is IPYNB, we call it IPYNB, IPY Notebook. And you can name your notebook here. I'm going to call it Loops in Python. Right. So just, just so that you guys get a hang of it, I'm going to run a couple of codes here. Hello, notebook and control enter is going to print the output right here. There are a couple of shortcuts that is better handled in the beginning itself. So going to your current cell, pressing escape and then small b, b adds another cell block just below the current cell. Whereas uh, going to the current cell, pressing escape and pressing A will open another unit of block uh, right above your current cell. So anyway, I don't need it right now. So I'm just going to cut it. But let's get started guys. So we'll start with the for loop that says so we let's let's have a list for that. So uh, my list is equal to uh, yeah three four five six seven eight nine ten and shift enter is going to directly run that block of code and take you to another cell so this was shift enter for me now for item in my list okay Let's quickly run through this. Now, for loop is used to uh, go through each and every element of your list. And in here basically denotes that you are going to uh, traverse this particular my list. So this is just the syntax. Now, indentation in Python is really important. As soon as I press enter, automatically indents the piece of code for you which is a good thing now item is just uh, the variable that I have named you can call it anything item a b c integer number letter anything it's just always the best practice not to name any of your variables keywords that are in Python otherwise there can be confusion at times now for item in my list uh, let's do one thing I am going to take this. Let's calculate the sum of all of these numbers present in the list. So 1 to 10 should ideally be uh, n into n plus 1 by 2, which is 10 into 11 by 2, which is 55. Now let's call our total 0. This is just an initialization. Now needs to be outside the loop right so for item in my list total is equal to total plus item now this is one way of writing this but there are shorthands also which I would like you guys to use instead of this so this was just to show you guys that this is what it means but total plus equal to item so what this does is every time it goes through your list it adds the item of your list 
to total okay now let's print total and see what we get here 55 this so 55 was the expected output 55 is the sum and this was pretty quick guys so this is how we can traverse through our items in the list and now let's do one more thing let's calculate product now I cannot take product 0 in this case because if I multiply 0 with anything my end output will be 0 so I'm going to take product 1 now for uh, I can call it item again but just so you guys know that we can call it anything I'm going to call it for piece in my list product into is equal to piece I hope you guys got why I wrote asterisk equal to and not product is equal to product into piece because that's just unnecessary writing code and well no one likes to write extra mm, print product Okay, so 3,628,800 is the product of the first 10 uh, positive integers. Alright, so we did a bit of playing around with lists along with for loop. Now in the next one, we are going to see how we can make use of for loop to go through indices of your list and not just the items that is really helpful at times and we are going to actually also start picking up a lot more cooler projects because I think we all have a hang of it now and do let me know in the comments below whether you want me to use Jupyter Notebook or Sublime also do not forget to like and subscribe thank you